I love that sound. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Let's Check Out uh, a Game kind of thing here at Two Day Rentals. We love doing this. This is just us firing up a game, playing through it. Sometimes I've played these games, sometimes I haven't. And we're looking to see if this is something we want to take further and continue to play, maybe through an extended live stream or Let's Play. So this is where we kind of figure that stuff out. Today we're doing uh, a game that I have had a little experience with. I've only played this game one other time. Uh, and I actually own this game. I'm playing this on actual hardware. And this game is called Sword of the Berserk. It's based off a of manga. Uh, Sword, of the Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage. And you play as the character Guts. Uh, he has a gigantic sword called the Dragon Slayer. That's about all I really know. I know it's a manga. It may have even been an anime. It may have been a cartoon after this. I'm not quite sure. If that's the case, I've never seen any of that. I've just played this game one other time, and I really enjoyed it. And the reason I'm firing it up is because there's been so much talk lately on how much Elden Ring and a lot of the Dark Souls games draw inspiration from this series and Miyazaki has said in very the very few limited interviews that he's done that this has definitely played an inspiration to his aesthetic and design in creating the world that Dark Souls and Elden Ring live in and as of recently now that Dark Souls is out and I've been pouring a ton of time into it uh, some people have been coming up with some pretty interesting builds strength builds that look very similar to Guts, which is the character we're playing. And as a matter of fact, I want to say that in Elden Ring, there is a sword that looks... I, I mentioned this previously, but a sword that looks almost exactly like uh, this great sword in here. Uh, I don't know. But with all that stuff that I've been reading, all it said, I was like, okay, let's go back and check this out and see if there's something more to it than what I missed before. I mean, I didn't hate this. It just didn't really stand out to me as, like, the best thing ever. But uh, this is one of the... First few games that I got with my Dreamcast. This may have been bundled with it because I did buy my first Dreamcast. I have two um, now, but I bought my first one uh, with a lot. So it came with a few games, and I want to say this was one that came with it. And I fired it up, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, and I moved on. I do believe that this is a Dreamcast exclusive as well. So let's see if it's as good or bad as I remember it because I don't re remember a ton at all. But... Uh, Jeez, you're jumping right in. Well, I can tell you, un immediately, this game looks fantastic. It really does. For a dream... I mean, I swear the Dreamcast has, like, untapped power. I, I Every time I fire this system up, I swear I'm impressed more and more. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. How have I not just gone absolutely ape-s with this game? Because I love beat-em-ups, and you'll see me play a ton of beat-em-ups. This looks like a, a, it's got all the makings of a beat-em-up. Let's freaking go. Look at that combo I just pulled off. I mean, he's swinging that great sword around. The Dragon Slayer. Like it's a dagger. He got the moves like dagger. Oh, there's a block. I mean, already, I can definitely tell there's some Dark Souls influence here, or some sort of the Berserk influence in Dark Souls. What does this do? Let's jump. Okay. Can they do a jump attack? See, I think they put jump in Elden Ring because of this game. Ooh! Did you see that one? I may never stop playing this game. Well, no, I'll have to because I'll have to get back to you. My Elden Ring build, which, don't worry, I'm giving myself a couple of weeks with Elden Ring before I do any content on it. There's enough content on Elden Ring out there as it is, but I will. I'll, I'll definitely uh, do some videos on my just first couple weeks experience with it. I just want to get some more time under my belt. The game is so massive, but that's beside the point. Now, uh, I will from time to time stream Elden Ring over on Twitch. Uh, and I may stream it here over on YouTube at some point in time too. 
Uh, I don't, with my PlayStation 5, I was having some technical difficulties with the syncing up the audio, and it was giving me fits. So when I have been streaming Elden Ring, I haven't made a big deal about talking about it. It's just gameplay and some uh, chat, no voice chat. Uh, I just couldn't get my audio. It was causing all sorts of issues, but I'm going to get it worked out so that way it'll be just like this. With all my retro games, I have no problems. So, I don't know. But this is awesome uh, already. And, man, you know, so I, I got my my first Dreamcast. It's been probably 12, 13. It's been a while. And uh, now that I think about it, this was a game that came with that bundle or that lot that I bought. And I, I think this I vaguely remember, but this is so much more fun than I recall it. So, yeah. Add it to the list of games that we're going to stream. I know we're going to stream Vampire Killer. We're going to stream Spawn at some point in time. And we're going to go back and probably stream one of those Batman games. And I haven't decided which one. Uh, but I just want to get a few of these like under my belt. Like, uh, several games of like, oh, what is this? What is this? And then I can kind of choose which... Well, you got my attention now, you naked little fairy. It's like a, it's like a Ken doll. There's just nothing there. It's probably better. I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking for it, for it to show anything. But this is just, sorry, it took me by surprise. Anyway, what I was saying is, I'm going through checking out a bunch of games that I potentially think I could want to stream, and I'm posting these up there for everyone to take a look at and see. And if you have any opinion of the matter of which one of those you'd rather see me stream first, or more frequently, please comment down below. And if this is your first time here, and you don't know what you've stumbled across, please check out some of my other videos. We do all sorts of stuff here. Again, movie, video games, toys, some music. We kind of talk about it all here. The music's tough. The copyright stuff will get you with music. I wish there was a way around that so I could be like, check this out and listen to this. I see other YouTube channels kind of do that to a degree, but... The music sometimes will kind of get you in, in some hot water, so I just want to kind of avoid that. Okay, let's get back to the gameplay. Oh! All right. I was like, now we got a title card here. Well, let's let this play out. I mean, because this, this game, for me, I don't know what, what everyone else out there thinks, but um, <laughs> I still can't believe this is 1999, so here we are you know, 23 years ago. And if you think this game looks good, you should check out, or I'll, if you probably have, I mean, those that are in the know, they know, but Soul Calibur still to me, I'm just blown away how well it holds up gameplay wise. You know, a lot of times older 3D games don't, but visually, stunning. Really, really is. I mean, Guts is kind of a badass. I'll have to look him up. I'm always curious to see who composers are in video games because video game music means a whole lot to me. Music in general means a whole lot to me, but video game composers, I'm always curious. That looks like a, a plant that I burned to the ground in Elden Ring the other day I was playing. There was a big plant that was like shooting lightning and poison spores at me, so I had to burn it. And it's no more. He was getting a little touchy-feely. She's like, no. Look at that little dog go. And, of course, the humans all like, I got you. Let me show you how it's done. I'm more impressed with the dog. I, you know what? Once every couple of years, I, you know, my television's filled with gymnastics. My wife really likes watching the gymnastics here in the Summer Olympics. I, you know, I do too. I don't mind it. I, I like the Olympics. I had a big crush on Dominic Musciano when I was younger. Atlanta 96. She she just, I don't know, I'm sure she captured the hearts of many, many of young men during that time. But Oh, 
let's let's not talk about Dominic Mosianu. We got a guy growing a face out of his chest right now. Get the hell out of our car. Oh, see, that's unfortunate. Okay, uh, I that's that's on me. Uh, my monitor went to sleep. I forgot to change the settings. So anyway, it, it actually happened at a decent time. So uh, look, I don't know what's going on in the story. Uh, a dog's doing flips. We got a, a naked fairy child thing. Uh, this guy has got a face grown out of his chest, and the whole town's like, listen, you can take that two-face nonsense to the next town. They may be able to do something with you, but we don't need it. And now I think Guts is going to just take care of them, which is kind of unfortunate because unless this guy's causing harm, I, it didn't look like he was. Uh We'll see. I don't know. It, 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 I kind of feel bad for the guy with the two faces, but anyway. We don't want to quit. We're going to continue. All right, let's go. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, never mind. This guy's... Oh, Lord, he looks like something from Resident Evil. Oh, wow. Okay. Man, brutal. Spinning again. Ignore all that. Oh, man. I'm going to get my butt handed to me here. Come on. This guy don't play around. And his health resets? Okay, let's try this again. Wow, he's just taking care of it. He's like, listen, I've dealt with these people in this town. Oh, it's taking away health. As those special moves tend to do. How do I use... There's got to be a way to use health here. Oh, sweet. There we go. I don't know what I just did. Get my sword back. Come on. Mess him up. What is going on with this camera? This is behind a wall there. Man, this guy's... For a first boss. Oh, here we go. Berserker mode. Get behind him. Do some like backstabbing Dark Soul stuff. Oh, we're we're taking care of him now. Take your two faces to the next town, sir. Oh, come on. Not even a chance. Just go berserk on him. This guy's really got guts. Man. Here we go. Ready? Now we're really playing with power. Playing with power. It's not even a Sega thing. But I had to. I didn't even get it. All right. It only took me. It only cost me one life to get through him. So, whatever. I mean, okay. What? Well, look here. He was going to destroy your whole town. But it was no cause to hit her. You'd never hit. You really shouldn't hit anyone unless it's in self-defense. But definitely 
Never hit a lady. And she didn't do anything. I mean, she's she's thinking that she's doing the right thing. But honestly, that mutant was going to make a mess of the town. Eat all their food. Look at this guy. What's the... Did, did he say Harry Ballsack? Did you hear that? Dude. I'm Balzac, ruler of this town. Sir, I must thank you. I'm Balzac. Once people with this disease run amok, they rampage until they die. See? I'm not in some okay. <laughs> I mean, No one knows how hairy my ballsack is besides me, Harry Ballsack. Alright, let's go. Let's keep moving forward with their hairy ball sacks. This is If we do like a really like full on playthrough with this or let's play, then um we'll let Harry Ballsack talk all he wants. This looks like the interior of something in Bloodborne or or Dark Souls, and then again, that's a nice job. Before I welcome you both more formally, before I welcome you both more formally, here's a razor. I would, like to see you. I would like you to shave parts of me. Weirdos. Sound sound design in this game is awesome. I know you can't probably really hear it. it is too dangerous for them. I want you to come alone. Music and sound are so far pretty spot on. Gutsu. I thought it was Guts. That is Gutsu. This is close. If something happens, come get me. If I get into a ball sh sack shaving incident, you, you make sure and come rescue me. Things could get hairy. Alright, let's continue to press on a little bit more. We don't have much, much more time. Again, if you watch these before, you know I like to keep them in around 15-20 minutes, so... We'll see if we can't see what happens next uh, with, within this game. If there's more sequences like this or we get back to some actual gameplay. If it goes into like more of an open... I really don't know if it's open world at all or, or what. Okay, I know. It's just... I, I should be paying attention to the story, but... I'm just distracted. My old Harry over here. Man, yeah, serious, serious Souls vibes going on, so. But we knew that coming in, and sorry if I keep repeating myself, but I'm just a huge fan of From Software, all the way back to Kingsfield 2 was the first game I played by them on the PlayStation, but it wasn't when it came out. It was after I had played Dark Souls, I went back and played that one. But uh, that has very little to do with any of the... Dark Souls games outside of the Moonlight Great Sword being and pretty much all of those games, including that one. But and if you don't know anything what I'm talking about as far as Dark Souls, you're like, what? Moonlight Great Sword, Dark Souls, Berserker, Harry Ballsack, what is it? Hey, just enjoy something kind of quirky, I suppose. Alright, it looks like we're should be getting to a fight scene here. There we go. No? Well, I'm not minding any of this at all. As a matter of fact, if I was really looking to like dive in and and consume this game, I would be all about this. But, you know, for the sake of just seeing what it's all about and what sort of varieties we have, we're just going to fly through some of this. Oh. Yeah, do that overhead slash. Just tight quarters here. So we got like a little dungeon thing going on. So this town is full of these little mutant guys. It's kind of Resident Evil-ish. Maybe even some Bloodborne. 
kind of thing. I like that little kick thing. You can kind of kick them, stun them. It's nice. I'm the number one stunner. What? 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 Loot? Mimics? Mimics are one of my favorite creatures in, like, that sort of fantasy world, right? There's something so cool about a creature that that dress or it dresses. <laughs> that disguises itself as a treasure chest just because it knows how greedy humans are. Man, I tell you, I'm... I, even after the my sort of time I allot myself for these games, I'm going to continue to play this one. How have I slept on this one for so long? Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Got him in half. Oh, big boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, we'll see how we fare here. Look at these. They look like they've got some hairy ball sacks on their arms. And I don't mean, you know, I mean the, the, the mayor of the town. Sorry. Oh, man. Berserker Bone! Hey, you know, it, it, that's, I tell you, there's a certain sort of sweet spot I have for games that are like somewhat button mashers. But not really. Like, you can get away with doing it. Like, I don't... I don't particularly always care for games that, like, if you just button mash, you can just be victorious all the way across. It's like, it's not really fair. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter fair, but... Uh, if, in a versus situation. Um, my wife is the grand champion of the world of button mash fighting games. There was one time I had turn this down because I think this is about where we'll call it here there was one time that I had a group of uh, friends over we had some friends over and it was like a retro game night and uh, we played turbo graphics we played Nintendo we played Sega we played all of them man at the end of the night we kind of want to do like a mini Mortal Kombat tournament I think we were playing Mortal Kombat two or three and there were about four or five of us there and my wife I love you, because I know you're watching, hopefully. Hopefully, you better be. My wife wiped the floor with all of us, and she fatalityed every single one of us. Clean sweep. And I asked her, I was like, what's your strategy? And it's like, you remember, you know, it's just, it's just button mash. It's whatever. She was also really good at couch wee bowling. She could just sit there, she's like, I don't understand why this is so hard. And just pull strikes. Just one after the other. Oh, man. You'll see her on this channel. I'm going to get her on here. Okay, so I think this is a good stopping point because now it looks like it's leading into some maybe some exploration. And I love that because it seems like this game kind of mixes it up a little bit. So this is just awesome. It's so, so cool that it, it has a little bit more to it than just like, oh, here's a room and beat these people up and that sort of thing. Let's get this sword out. I do kind of wish that there was a, maybe an engage or lock on button, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. We're lucky to have this game. And uh, I do believe, it's, like I said, I do believe it's a Dreamcast exclusive. From what I could tell, there was other Berserk games that came out on the PlayStation 2, but they may have been Japanese exclusives. So anyway there's a good look at guts right there he's kind of a badass i want to do a stream for you know a big long playthrough of one of these games uh and just have to figure out when that time will be but i'm really kind of waiting to hear back from from everyone out there what would you like to see is there another dreamcast game that you would like me to check out and put it in the queue uh, of live streams please let me know comment down below and while you're in that general direction, I know there's a subscribe button and a, and a notification button somewhere in there, too. Hit those as well. It won't hurt. And uh, thank you again for spending a little time with me here on Sega Saturday. Again, that's every day here at Two Day Rentals. Sayonara. <laughs>